So now, let's take a look at some more deform deformers right over here in Cinema 4D. So let me just bring in an object right here. I'm going to have three objects just like before. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that there's more subdivision to it. 20 by 20 by 20 right over here, just like this. Let me just bring this up and I'm going to convert this into a polygonal shape. I'm going to press C. And over here, I'm going to just increase this in size right over there. Let me just bring this up and over here, I'm just going to grab it to the left, hold control and drag it on to the right, just like this. So now what I'm going to do is use three more deformers. For this one, let's use something called twist. For this one, let's use uh, something called melt right there. So let me just go over here and I'm going to use something called melt. And over here, I'm going to use uh, something called squash and stretch. There you go, three deformers right over here. On the first one, twist, second one uh, is going to be melt, third one is squash and stretch. So these are all the tile now. So let me just drag it, so it's proper tile. There you go. One is actually even applied as you can see right here. So twist, I'm going to fit it to parent, melt. There's no fit to parent for melt. For squash and stretch, I'm going to fit to parent as well. So let's go to the twist one first, and you can see that there's the size over here. That's the angle that you can control. So you can see that it actually twists out our, uh, our object right over there, just like that. I can bring out and in the twist, as you can see. And you can go for limited, that is within the bounding box right here. This is within box are unlimited, so it actually doesn't actually affect us like that. It actually makes for a cool animation as well, as you can see. Let me just uh, keep it on within the box itself. So that's limited. The other one over here is melt. So if you want to melt something like a cheese over there, you can actually use this. So you can increase and decrease the strength, as you can see, so it melts. And here is the radius of the melting. So you can increase it, you can decrease, let me just decrease it out just a bit. You can increase and decrease the radius to actually make it more fluid or bulky, as you can see. There's also vertical randomness right here. So that, there you go, radial randomness as well, just like that. So this is quite flat, as you can see, this looks actually like it is melting. You can also increase the melt size, so you can increase the melt size right here. You can also increase the noise size, so this looks much more realistic, uh, as you can see. So there's this, and there's melt right here. So decrease the noise, increase the noise according to what is necessary for you, and that's it. So increase, and you can also animate the noise as it is going on, so it actually looks like it is melting. So the third one over here is the uh, squash and stretch, and over here you can see that you can control the top, the center, and there you go. So now for this one, uh, let us, uh, this is already done for fit to parent. You can use this um, square, cubic, and you can expand. And there you go, you can see that there's a squash and stretch. So you can increase and decrease the factor. You can expand this out. You can work around with the aspect. You can work around with the center. And there you go, you can see that there's a smoothing. And you can also go for different type of smoothings right there. This is, there's the square smoothing, there's the uh, aquatic, aquatic smoothing, there's the custom smoothing right here. So you can actually work as well. So you can increase and decrease the level of smoothing right over here as well. So let's just go over here just like that and go to cubic right there. So there's the center as well that you can actually work around the top. So you can increase and decrease the top, the center, the bottom right over there as well, just like that. So minus uh, and plus, there you go. So you can bring this down even further by using the scroll mouse button by or by entering the value right over here and increase this value as well. Just click, click and drag it. And there you go. These are the values that was added just like that. You can also expand this out. You can have a smooth start, as you can see, and even a smooth end that actually curb, curves out everything. So you can increase and decrease the curvature, just like that. So that is how you can use the twist, melt, and squash and stretch deformance inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.